We arrived at Coco Key. We are parked right next to Freedom. She's following us everywhere on this trip. Although I think now we're following her because she left before us yesterday at NASA. That's true. You can't see Coco Key because we're backed into our parking spot here. I always find it difficult to back into my parking oh, spot. <laughs> um, we are going to do snorkeling for the first time today on Coco Key, that is. We've never been to Perfect Day with two ships full of people. So we're interested to see how much more crowded it'll be today. Catch you on the beach. Oh God. They're blasting the music in the hallway. Wake everyone up. <laughs> this is the official Coco Key theme song, if you didn't know. This is crazy, because we're not used to being... Uh, tucked between two ships. Yeah, tucked between two ships on Coco Key. This has never happened. It's very shady. I think it was against the rules for a while because of COVID. They didn't allow two ships to dock on a private island at once. Yeah, I guess that's changed now. Last time we were here, we did try to do the South Beach um, sandbar. Yeah. South Beach was closed, but now South Beach is back open officially. So I think we're gonna do that first, maybe? If or, that's what you want. Or snorkeling, I don't know. No, we can snorkel right away. Merchandising, merchandising, merchandising. This is a Coco Key shop. They have a lot of stuff here, a lot they of cool really stuff. Do. But I like these wet shirts. Yeah, you love those. But this one's too blue. What about the white one? It's too white. Okay. We're still making our way to South Beach. We think. We think. <laughs> They've covered up the signs, I think, that say the directions yeah. to South Beach. Because it, it was closed. Very... Okay, look, oh, South Beach. Okay, we're on the right path. The balloon is behind us, which, that was awesome when we did that. It was really cool. I like that we're coming here a lot and we get to like do almost every excursion. Yeah. Once we've done them all, that's when we can't come back anymore. <laughs> No, we can come back and do our favorites. Yeah. We've made it. We have. This is South Beach. We, we are here. So they do have their own snack shack down there. So as soon as they open, we'll be getting that awesome chicken sandwich. We basically have had our pick of the chairs. <laughs> it's pretty cool. It is. When we first got here, the water went up to here. Yeah. Look at this. Now is the time to do the sandbar. Wow, okay, let's do it. We went to the sandbar and there was a million jellyfish there. Brian was attacked. His foot has the evidence of it. Let me see if I can show it here. I don't know if- It's like these little red spots. I don't know if this is gonna show up, but there's a bunch of red this spots. One I, it hurts. I bet. Like, I actually didn't know they were jellyfish. Like they were just like covering the, the bottom. Oh, so you were like, maybe it's just sand. Or I something. think I think I was like stepping on them and stuff. Oh but, man! Because like, I was just like, at one point, like I I felt like this thing on my feet, and I looked down, and like I just saw a bunch of them. Like I was swimming around them. Yikes! And uh, I was so panicked I didn't even get it on camera. <laughs> <laughs> the jellyfish weren't even pink, like in Finding Nemo. Were they white? Like, no, they were like tan. Huh? It was so it was weird. I didn't think they were jellyfish at first. Because sand is tan. Also, they were big. Like, they were like the size of like my hand. I don't like that. Okay, we've migrated. To Oasis Lagoon to hang out by the pool. We were worried about how crowded it might be because there are two ships here instead of just the one. But honestly, there's still plenty of chairs available. There's still lots of good spots. And so I'm not, while the crowds are larger than we were having. I mean, it's not really that noticeable. It's, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. These chairs are the best. It's time for one of the best parts of your day at Coco Key. Look at this sandwich. Isn't it neat? This is what dreams are made of. This is the Shack Snack Shack crispy chicken sandwich. Um, consistently one of the best items we eat on the cruise. I can't remember if we've said this before, but we do know that you can ask for like the special chicken There's a secret, sandwich. yeah. Secret chicken sandwich. And like it comes with this. It comes with the cheese sticks 
on this chicken with the mozzarella or the marinara. Yeah, and the thing is, we prefer them separately. Yes. So we're aware. <laughs> we just don't want them. But we still appreciate the comment. Of course, yes. <laughs> this sandwich, this food has no right being this good. It doesn't even make sense. It doesn't. How do they do it? And they do it consistently every time we've been here. It's just so weird that like the snack shack, which is that building over there on the beach here, they have a few of them. It's like one of the best meals of the, the cruise every time. It is. If I could say anything for like a cruise tip is get the shack chicken sandwich. Yeah. And I just want to say thank you to the <laughs> snack shack for, for providing us this joy. Okay, now we're going to go do our snorkeling. Maybe we should wait a little bit because aren't you supposed to wait like however many minutes after you nope. eat? Nope. Okay. From the snack shack to the snorkel shack, we got to pick up our stuff. And then I think there's a special beach for snorkeling right down there. Okay, they say this is the best spot for the snorkeling. The water looks really nice here. Also, <laughs> um, the whole scenery here looks really cool. Yeah, there's a lot of people snorkeling in this beach. Seems like mostly snorkelers here. Yeah, this might be like There's actually a decent amount of fish here. Yeah, when we first got in, it was just like murky because I guess there were a lot of people like kicking up sand, but we got to a part where there weren't a lot of people, and now there's lots of fishies and stuff. Cool. There's a barge out here. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah. Over there is Grand Syrup Key, Norwegian private island. That's where we just came from. At the beach over there. I'm glad we have this break because it took a lot of work to get here. Yeah. I want to say the best fish were like down over there. Like, wouldn't you say? Yeah, like by the rocks and like down that side. Yeah. That's where we saw the best fish. Yeah, or the most fish. Yeah, the most fish. It's not like a seaweed area. I was expecting like a lot of fish to be hiding in the seaweed, but they weren't. Jesus. <laughs> I got you an ice cream. <laughs> I was gonna put it on your lips. I think that would have been worse. <laughs> We've been at this hammock and it's it's been really nice in the shade. Okay, we gotta go catch that tram. Right now? Yeah. Okay. Now we are going to get some snacks at Captain Jack's. Hey, that rhyme. Rhymes. Seem like enough napkins for the amount of mess that I'm about to create. <laughs> we got the wings with um, Caribbean jerk seasoning and the fries with, you don't even know this yet, garlic aioli. I thought you would like that. I was wondering like, what are these two yeah. things? Those fries were good. They were, oh my gosh. What did you think of the wings though? <clears throat> Too spicy. Too spicy. But I, I'm a baby with spicy. Me too. I had one and I was like, that's about all I can have. But the fries and the sauces. Oh, the sauce. Yeah. Talk sauce. about that garlic aioli. Top notch. Top notch. All right, back to the ship. I feel like here you can tell that there's more people on board. There's oh, more yeah. than one ship because, you know, look at look at the crowds. Also, it, it, it was busier. It, it, it was, was, but it's not, it wasn't like horrible. It wasn't enough that like you couldn't find a seat somewhere or anything like that. Like no. we got up and moved and were able to we find were, a seat each time. We were beach hopping like crazy. Yeah. And like we never had a problem. Yeah, really. all was well. You know, we got freedom and Mariner right here. <laughs> How come ours looks bigger from here? I know that it's not, but doesn't it look like wider? I don't know, but which one do you like better? Oh, we were debating this earlier. We both, we did Freedom three night, and now we did Mariner three night. I picked Freedom and Brian picked Mariner. I think the main difference is Mariner has Starbucks. That's big. <laughs> For some. 
to me, Freedom is better because the, the pool deck is so much better. The hot tubs go off the side of the ship. The decorations are so much nicer. I just think that that's really cool. The pool deck is better on Freedom. Um, and then we discussed the promenade is better on Mariner. Mariner has the better promenade. And because of Playmakers. The Playmakers is much better on Mariner. Because, because it's on the promenade? Because of the location. It's really cool on the promenade, I think. I agree with that. But I mean, they're so similar. They like, really are. I mean, I wouldn't. You could you could go on either one. I wouldn't turn my nose up at going on either. No, the blue hull kind of does make a difference. I like the blue. Some people hate on the blue. We're back on board now. It always feels good to come back on board, even though we had a great time. Yeah, it's nice because it's cool, and you're like, oh, I'm back home. Yeah. So I think we're gonna hit the pool here. What else? I'm gonna eat our ice cream. There's a hot tub in that room right there. I think there's that's the only room on Freedom tub. that has a hot tub there. Unless there's one in the aft. Okay, maybe there's more. We don't know. We don't know, but I mean that's cool. But when we do know that in like two years we like, booked a room. A year and a half. A year and a half. We're gonna be in a room with a hot tub. And you know what? It was a steal of a deal. You looked up like all the other dates for that same room on that same ship, and like they're they were way more expensive. We got it like in the midst of the pandemic before Royal was even back. Yeah. I feel I, lucky. I can't even tell you what ship it's on. I totally forget. <laughs> it was one with the cool slide. Oh, Liberty. A uh, maybe. Yeah. With nice. the tidal wave. Maybe. It might be that. I know I it had a cool slide and I don't think it was Navigator and so I think that's the only other one, right? I think it's because I wanted to go on the tidal wave slide. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, in a year and a half or two years or whatever it is, we'll be there. And we're probably not going to leave the room either. <laughs> Except for the slide. Yeah. And some true. food, because you know we like food. Yeah. Although they, they bring the food to you in that room. Yeah, you get special perks. You can get any specialty restaurant delivered to your room. In that room only, I think. Anyway, stay tuned for that a year from now. <laughs> or yeah, years, make whatever. sure you like and subscribe. Oh, stop. <laughs> so my jellyfish stings aren't getting any better. If anything, they're getting worse. It still really stings. I was just reading all about them online. <laughs> so we are going to go to the medical facility, get Brian some vinegar, and then hopefully he'll be all fixed up. Yeah, vinegar is the thing to get. You're not supposed to pee on it. Don't do that. We also put some fresh water on it. Don't do that. It also said, yeah, fresh water won't do anything. It's probably going to be really boring, but I'm interested to see what this medical faci facility is going to be mm. like. We've never been before. <laughs> Which is good that we haven't. Going all the way down to deck, deck one. one. Whoa, we said that at the same time. Doors opening. They had vinegar ready. He said South Beach has tons of jellyfish. Really? And he's heard that people get stung there before. Wow. But they just like put me in a tub and sprayed me with vinegar. Really? They had then, a tub? Yeah, yeah. And then said I have to uh, now shower in 10 minutes, so. All right, well, yeah. I guess you smell bad. But I think it's already working because it doesn't like sting as bad wow. anymore. Oh, I'm so happy for you. Yeah. Thanks, Royal Caribbean Medical Facility. I was looking up jellyfish. I think that's the one I, I found right there. Wow. And and literally, I was like surrounded. They were like all over me. That looks really freaky. And then I think it might have been these ones too. So like that was like on the floor of the ocean. That literally just looks like sand. I know. So like I think I stepped on some of those guys, and then like they were like flying all around and like attacking. Ooh, me. I don't like that. Yeah. Well, now you smell like vinegar. I know. <laughs> Gus is on display. They're showing off their Gus, but you know what they don't have? is a mocha frappuccino. They can't get that. They can't. Not until they get home. We have left Coco Key and we are now making our way back to Port Canaveral. And uh, now we're gonna go see if we can get some food at the bamboo room. Get some of those sliders. Should be a perfect dinner. As you can see, it's very crowded right now. <laughs> this menu is cool. It is cool. Because we don't drink, we're just here for the small plates. Yeah. A parrot just appeared on that painting and 
told begging us. for a drink. He wanted us. He wanted us to buy him a drink. How needy. There's a sign back there explaining the backstory of Cliff. Cliff is the parrot. <laughs> What's Cliff's backstory? Oh, it goes on and on. I don't know. <laughs> you didn't even read it. It essentially said, look out for Cliff. He's going to appear. And oh, I found him. He's crazy and he's cool. Tonight's um, dress code is called Tropical Shirt Night. Yeah, which is obviously what I'm wearing and what you're wearing. Hey, we're both just wearing black. <laughs> That's very tropical. Um, we don't have anything tropical. No. But it but it's cool that we're here because it makes sense. It does, it's on, on theme. But I've noticed, and I can't tell if it's just because we're here in the bamboo room, but I think that all the team members here are wearing like tropical shirts. Not just here, but like on the cruise ship. Oh. First up, we have the Asian noodle salad with chicken. This looks funky. It looks really good. Yeah, I'm excited about it. I love me some noodles, so. The sliders are in. And they look really good. They do. I like the pineapple. pineapple. Oh my so gosh, cool. it's so cool. What's your favorite? This is better. Agreed. Slider is better than noodle salad. Which that's cold, which I kind of thought it would be. Yeah. I don't love it. I like my noodles hot. Me too. But let's talk about these plates. That's cool. Well, I hate to say this, but you're right. Why? Because everyone's wearing um, Hawaiian or not Hawaiian, uh, tropical shirt. All the team members, yeah. Yeah, even at the um, front desk here. I'm always right. For Brian's birthday, he was given $25 of credit. We have not spent. We have a lot to spend. Yeah, we probably spent $5 or less. So we're back at the duck machine, getting a Dalmatian. I'm wow. so good. You can't win. I can't. And you know what? I told you that I couldn't win that one time that I did win, and you made fun of me. I'm going to win again. Okay. The joystick is slimy. Ew. Maybe that means that it was recently sanitized. <laughs> <laughs> it's just an added obstacle. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. So you can win everything. Watch me win. I want to do it. 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 Okay. I suck. Fine. I suck. Okay. Brian gets a duck. He leaves it in the thing, and I'm like, oh, that would be a great hiding spot for a duck. Then I use my eyes because I'm thinking, oh, a great hiding spot for a duck. <laughs> Somebody else had a great thought. That was a duck on top of a duck. A duck on top of a duck. Wow, and it's a pirate duck. Oh my gosh, and it says, oh FB Samantha. Traveler's ducks? Traveler's ducks. We're gonna try to find this Facebook group and tell them that we found it. Yeah, oh, pose for it, and then we'll send them this picture too. Oh, okay. It's, it's, Maybe like point to like where you found it. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna hide the duck we just found. We're gonna rehide it. Now, I have seen like a cool ship model, and I don't remember <laughs> where I what saw it, it, and I still don't see it. It could be on one of those. It could be on that side, we don't know. No. Okay, but we want to hide one of the ducks here. Okay. There we, what do you think about that? I think that's good. Because really, nobody really goes nobody out, there out there because they go to the elevator. Maybe I should put it on this one because then, yes. like, yeah. Now, the only way someone will find this is if they, is come, if over they come over there. It was like a scavenger hunt even to find this thing, but we finally found it. <laughs> we had to get into the glass elevator, then we had to find it, then we had to figure out what floor yeah. it was on, a whole thing. Like we took the elevator down and then we're just like looking at all the floors to finally find it. But this we one is really this. big. This is it. Serenade. Serenade. This is one of the biggest models I think we've seen. Yeah. There's actually a company that will like, like you can like buy this and like for your home and they're like really expensive and they have, they can do like any ship. So we're gonna hide the duck. He doesn't, he can't stay here. So I feel like he has to be like up there. Okay, so. He's, he is going to permanently admire the serenade of the sea. <gasps> okay. Oh my goodness. Oh my, oh my God. This is a, we've never had this. What is this? What is this thing? What? It's kind of scaring me. It's freaking me out a little bit. I need to look at it from a new angle. This is like um, complex abstract art it where really like is. we don't know what this is. <laughs> what is it? Like what is that? It's, it's, it's like an, it's anything you want it to be. It is. 
Is it like reading a newspaper? No. What is the... I love it. I love it. I want to say that. I love it too. Um, do I know what it is? No. Do I love it? Yes. <laughs> I don't know. And I, I want to know. Okay. Well, okay. 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 This is his head. We know that. Yeah. These are his feet. Obviously. He's got his feet crossed and he's holding... A fishing line. Uh, a I, snake? He's holding a snake. Is he going to eat it? I want to say he's snorkeling. <gasps> Maybe he's snorkeling. You know what? I like that it's open to interpretation. Yeah. That's the best kind of art. That's the kind of movies we like. The kinds that end and you're like, let's discuss. Yeah. So art should be discussed. This is, yeah. <laughs> our, fi <laughs> our final gust of this cruise is... It's like Inception. You, you, you pick what you want it to be. Exactly. It's open for review. I'm going to say it's someone sitting on Coco Key mm. with his legs crossed. Yep. And he's got his, his uh, snorkeling gear on because he's kind of funny like that. I love that idea. I like the fishing idea, though, too. He might be fishing. Bless you, astounded. Okay, it's a mystery. Also, um, the stateroom attendant figured out that you like the blanket underneath no other stateroom attendant has figured me out quite yet with that and um he figured this out in two nights this guy he gets me he understands the fuzzy needs to touch my body <laughs> <laughs> and i don't get anything <laughs> yeah, <I'm laughs> which is that's how it is at home but you don't want the fuzzy touching your body it's not because i'm cruel it's because that's not what you want okay uh, th i'm not even kidding we've been just standing <laughs> here talking about this <laughs> Solid 10, 15 minutes. <laughs> I'm going to go with he's fishing, and that's his fishing pole. It's got to be someone lounging on Coco Key fishing. You can't fish on Coco Key. You know what? <laughs> no. <laughs> Actually, no. This, I'll, I'll allow comments for this. This one thing. Oh. I just want to, uh, here, here's the thing. Here's what you should say. Tell us your thoughts on what you think that this is because really we need help obviously and this is really not like fishing for comments so we get more comments on the video don't say that i just really want to know we honestly want your thoughts like that's all we need help i love it this steward stateroom cabin attendant <laughs> he's the best he's the best in the business and we got him <laughs> Even though this was a short three night cruise on board Mariner of the Seas, we've had a wonderful time and we're looking forward to many other cruises on board Royal Caribbean cruise ships. This room's a mess. <laughs> <laughs> we're back home again. So we're going to scratch off Mariner of the Seas. Okay, we have now sailed on four ships. Which one will be next? Odyssey? <laughs> In our next video, we board the brand new Odyssey of the Seas for the first time.